Let's talk about the seven things that can make you more insulin sensitive. Now, what does that mean, insulin sensitive? Well, to understand it, you have to understand the opposite of that, which is insulin resistance. And that's a situation where your cells, the receptor for insulin is blocking insulin. So it's not allowing insulin to go into the cells. So we don't have the function that insulin should have normally. So then the body doesn't get the signal so it starts putting more and more and more insulin out. So sometimes you have between seven and nine times the amount of insulin in your body because of insulin resistance. And insulin is very, very important, not just in regulating blood sugars, but also in helping you absorb nutrients and keeping insulin at a normal level. So like I said before, the more insulin resistance you have, the more insulin you're going to have, the more problems you're going to have, you're going to gain weight. In the presence of insulin, you can't lose weight and your body's gonna be storing and converting carbs into fat. So what we wanna do is we wanna reverse this and improve insulin resistance by making insulin more sensitive, okay? And these are the things that will help you. Resistance training. So this is the type of workout that you'd wanna to do to get the maximum results. And I put a link down below to give you more data on this type of workout. However, you can actually do long walks, which also will help, but this is actually more powerful. Okay, number two. Fasting will improve insulin sensitivity. At the very minimum, you want to fast for 16 hours with an eight-hour eating window because the body is not depending on glucose anymore. It is burning your own fat. And so it's giving the pancreas a chance to heal and work correctly. All right, number three, decrease inflammation. So if you get rid of inflammation, you make insulin more sensitive. And I put a link down below of all the things that you can do to reduce inflammation. But of course, fasting will be the biggest trigger, but you can also do vitamin D as well. Reducing glucose will make insulin sensitive again, and that's the low-carb diet, that's the healthy keto. All right, number five, increasing sleep. Uh, increasing sleep will do several things. Number one, it reduces stress. It reduces this hormone cortisol. You will also be fasting when you're sleeping. And people that don't get enough sleep have blood sugar issues, um, mainly because of the spike in cortisol. So that leads us to number six, decreasing stress and cortisol. Cortisol actually releases sugar from your liver. So it's going to spike sugar. It will also turn your muscles into sugar and create insulin resistance. So the opposite of that, keeping cortisol low will make insulin more sensitive. All right, number seven vegetables, and I'm talking about the fiber, which is consumed by the microbes. These microbes eat the fiber. They make this uh, thing called butyrate, which improves insulin resistance and makes insulin more sensitive. So those are the seven things. And there's some additional things too, apple cider vinegar, cinnamon, omega-3, vitamin D. And if you're having the question, what is the difference between making insulin more sensitive and fixing insulin resistance, there's really no difference to the exact same thing. But if you want some additional information about insulin resistance, check it out on this screen right here.